relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. Let us take a quadratic polynomial, px is equals to 2x to the power 2 minus 8x plus 6. You know how to factorize quadratic polynomials by splitting the middle term. Here we need to split the middle term minus 8x as a sum of two terms, whose product is 6 into 2x to the power 2 is equals to 12x to the power of 2. So, we write. So, the value of px is equals to 2x to the power 2 minus 8x plus 6 is 0, when x minus 1 is equals to 0, or x minus 3 is equals to 0, that is, when x is equals to 1, or x is equals to 3. So, the zeros of 2x to the power 2 minus 8x plus 6 are 1 and 3. Observe that. Sum of its zeros is equals to 1 plus 3, which is equals to 4, which is equals to minus minus 8 upon 2, is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x to the power 2. Product of its zeros is equals to 1 into 3, which is equals to 3, which is equals to 6 by 2, is constant term upon coefficient of x to the power 2. Example. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x to the power 2 plus 7x plus 10, and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Solution. We have is equals to x plus 2 multiply x plus 5. So, the value of polynomial is 0 when x plus 2 is equals to 0, or, x plus 5 is equals to 0. That is when x is equals to minus 2, or, x is equals to minus 5. Therefore, the zeros of polynomial are, minus 2 and minus 5. Sum of its zeros is equals to minus 2 plus minus 5, which is equals to minus 7, which is equals to minus 7 by 1, which is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x to the power 2. Product of its zeros is equals to minus 2 into minus 5, which is equals to 10, which is equals to 10 by 2, is constant term upon coefficient of x to the power 2. Another example. Find a quadratic polynomial, the sum and product of whose zeros are minus 3 and 2, respectively. Solution. Let the quadratic polynomial be ax to the power 2 plus bx plus c, and its zeros be alpha and beta. Sum of its zeros alpha plus beta is equals to minus 3 which is minus b by a. Product of its zeros alpha beta, is equals to 2, which is c by a. If there is no denominator means there is 1 as a denominator, so, we can write 1 as a denominator of minus 3 and 2. If A is equals to 1, then B is equals to 3 and C is equals to 2. So, one quadratic polynomial which fits the given conditions is, x to the power 2 plus 3x plus 2. Let us look at cubic polynomial 2x to the power 3 minus 5x to the power 2 minus 14x plus 8. You can check that px is equals to 0, 4x is equals to 4, minus 2, and 1 by 2. Sum of its zeros, is equals to 4 plus, minus 2, plus 1 by 2, which is equals to 5 by 2, we can write minus minus 5 by 2 which is minus coefficient of x to the power 2 upon coefficient of x to the power 3. Product of its zeros, is equals to 4 into minus 2, into 1 by 2, which is equals to minus 4, we can write minus 8 by 2, which is minus constant term upon coefficient of x to the power 3. However, there is one more relationship here. Sum of the products of the zeros, is equals to Product of 4 and minus 2, plus, product of minus 2 and 1 by 2, plus, product of 1 by 2 and 4. Which is equals to minus 8 plus minus 1 plus 2, is equals to minus 7, we can write minus 14 by 2, is coefficient of x upon coefficient of x to the power 3. 
In general, it can be proved that if alpha, beta and gamma, are the zeros of the cubic polynomial, ax to the power 3 plus bx to the power 2 plus cx plus d, then alpha plus beta plus gamma, is equals to minus b by a. Alpha into beta into gamma, is equals to c by a. Product of alpha beta, plus product of beta gamma, plus product of gamma alpha, is equals to minus d by a. Example. Verify that 3, minus 1, and minus 1 by 3, are the zeros of the cubic polynomial px is equals to 3x to the power 3, minus 5x to the power 2, minus 11x, minus 3, and then verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Solution. Comparing the given polynomial with ax to the power 3, plus bx to the power 2, plus cx, plus d, we get, a is equals to 3, b is equals to minus 5, c is equals to minus 11, and d is equals to minus 3. Put the value of zeros in the given equation one by one. P3 is equals to P minus 1 is equals to P minus 1 by 3 is equals to Therefore, 3, minus 1, and minus 1 by 3, are the zeros of 3x to the power 3, minus 5x to the power 2 minus 11x, minus 3. So, we take alpha is equals to 3, beta is equals to minus 1, gamma is equals to minus 1 by 3. Now, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to minus b by a. Alpha into beta into gamma is equals to minus d by a. Product of alpha beta, product of beta gamma, product of gamma alpha, is equals to is equals to c by a. In the next video we will learn about division algorithm for polynomials. Till then, take care and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.